the most important thing that you need to know about when you go on a road is this thing right over here. It's called a traffic light. And you know what traffic lights do? They tell vehicles what to do. And they tell walking people, uh, also called pedestrians, what to do. They give all these instructions to vehicles and humans that fly and walk about with the help of just three colors. Red, amber, green. So what do these colors mean? They signify something different. Red means stop. Amber means get ready. And green means go. Let me take a situation for you and let's talk about what they mean for this speeding car. For example, when the traffic light is red, the car should stop. Notice that at the same time, the pedestrian light is green for those people who need to hurry across the road. So what they can do when it's green is that they can quickly hurry across before this signal turns green for the vehicles. So you may ask me, why do I need amber at all? Why can't it just go from red to green? Well, that is because we all need a little bit of notice. Imagine that it went from red to green directly without any notice. And you were the person walking and you were stuck in the middle of the crossing. You wouldn't have time to cross, right? Now, imagine we had a warning. A warning that the signal is going to change to green for the car. That warning is the amber light. So always, as a rule, before the red light goes to green, it will stop at amber for a few seconds and the other way as well. So that everybody has some notice. Either they can scurry across fast or they can get ready to go. Okay, let me talk about a different thing. Since no one has time to read long sentences on the road, symbols are super useful to quickly tell us different, different things. Like, is this a parking spot? Where can you park your vehicle? Is there some construction going on? Is there a school nearby? Many, many, many more such symbols and signs are there. This one, for example, is a stop sign. It means that vehicles are expected to stop at this area and not keep going. The number on this sign shows the speed limit. What is a speed limit? It is basically the fastest speed at which we can drive on that particular road. Now, what does this sign mean? This is a one-way sign. It means that there can only be vehicles moving in one direction on that road. That there is a U-turn sign, which means that there is a place ahead where the car can take a U-turn. Very useful, especially if you go on the wrong route. You would have also noticed that there are some signs over here which have a strike through to it. Cut off, right? Kind of. Well, it means you cannot do that particular thing. For example, this sign means you cannot take a U-turn. It's actually the same for any sign. Take a parking sign, put a strike through it. What does it mean? No parking, right? While the road actually belongs to the vehicles, we pedestrians get the sidewalk. And whenever we want to cross the road to get to the other side, we need to look for these striped pattern things. They get a name based on an animal it resembles. Any idea what it's called? It's called a zebra crossing. This is the only place on the road that pedestrians can walk on without worrying too much. But they have to wait for the green light. So yes, there are basic rules for being safe on the road. If you didn't follow the rules, you will get into a lot of incidents. If you like this video and if you want to watch more videos like these, hit like and subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy learning this way, download Byju's, the all new and personalized learning app.